Want to learn about stocks, cryptocurrencies, NFTs, and the metaverse? Join richtv.io. Hey guys, how you doing? This is your host of the most, your boy Rich from Rich TV Live. And we're here to give you our top 10 stocks for February 2023. So far, 2023 has been absolutely wonderful. Stocks are ripping. Commodities are ripping. Bitcoin and crypto are ripping. And our top 10 stocks are going to be ripping in February. They've already started ripping in January. And I believe this trend will continue into February as The market and the economy continues to get better. Inflation is starting to get under control. And we're setting up for so many huge moves in the market. 2022, everything crashed pretty much across the board, setting up huge opportunities for things to come back up. We're going to talk about it right here, right now, exclusively on Rich TV Live. All right. Thank you for being here. These are my top 10 stocks for February. And in number 10, Exxon Mobile. So you can see that it has been really going up. It's had a strong move up in the last year with the prices of oil going up. And a lot of these oil and gas companies reporting very, very strong. And the reason why they're my number 10th pick is they just reported their biggest quarter in their history. Oil and gas companies are making more money than ever before. This is very bullish. Obviously, they're very high. You know, it could be considered risky buying it at this level, but if you're looking for an oil and gas play, Exxon Mobil, and they also play a dividend of 3.15%. So a nice dividend yield, and they just reported very, very strong quality oil and gas play, Exxon Mobil, my number 10th pick for February 2023. Now, in number nine, Pfizer. Talked about Pfizer a lot. I do not own it right now. I sold it when it made its last move up right here to 54. I actually sold it and it's come down a lot due to the fact that, you know, we're pretty much past COVID, right? They're not making as much money on COVID shots. So that's why I sold. But I just feel like it's now back underneath my yellow lines. It's back in the buy zone. It's here under the 30 zone on the RSI. Just looks like all the indicators are telling me that it's kind of a good buy right now. And they just reported very strong. So strong quarter, strong financials. I, you know, if you do buy this, I kind of just take this trade back up to the top of the yellow line, which is about $50. After $50, that's where I'd be looking to sell. Pfizer, my number nine pick for February 2023. Now in number eight, Google. Full disclosure, I do own Google. I am a holder of Google and I absolutely love Google. And I think Google is undervalued, underappreciated, underexposed. You can see last year hit a high of 150. Not too long ago, in the last couple of months, it hit a low of 83. It's already starting to come back up through our Fibonacci's here, up into the yellow lines. And we're now at 98. And I think we're going to go to well above 100. And I think we could easily go back to that 150 mark sometime in 2023 or later. So that's why I think Google is a screaming buy, in my opinion. Huge upside for Google. One of the biggest companies in the world. Still the largest search engine in the world by far. And that's why Google is my number eighth pick for February 2023. Now in number seven pick, Tesla. I just sold my Tesla. It kind of hurts. I sold a little bit too soon. And you can see they're starting to go back back up. I do believe they'll go past this top yellow line of $235. I sold because I wasn't sure what they were going to look like with their report. They reported pretty strong. Still don't think the report was the greatest. So this might be a little bit of an overreaction just due to the fact that it was so cheap. And you can see it's been much, much higher. So the upside is tremendous for Tesla. That's why they are my number seven pick for February 2023. I think there's huge upside here. Great quality company. One of the richest, smartest, innovative people in the world behind this company, Elon Musk. And I'm a big fan of Tesla. I do not hold it right now. I did sell it. I'm looking for the next dip. And if it does dip back to that $100 mark, I will 100% be a buyer. Tesla, my number seven pick for February 2023.
And number six, Shopify. Now, this is another one that I own. I physically own Shopify. I'm a big fan of Shopify, and I think it's undervalued, underappreciated, underexposed. You can see in the last year, it's been as high as $98, been as low as $23, which was a screaming buy. And you can see we're back now at $49, and it's starting to really rip through the Fibonacci's. Lots of momentum. You can see up 4% today. So very big fan of Shopify. I am a holder of Shopify, full disclosure. I do own shares of Shopify. So big fan of Shopify. I am a holder. They're up 4% today. And I think the upside is tremendous. That's why they're my number six pick for February 2023. And in number five, we're now in our top five space, Virgin Galactic Holdings. I think that is just setting up for a multiple here. Um, I did buy some and sold some, and I just felt like, you know, it might come back down. So I took a little bit of profits and it's just kind of sitting around that $5 mark, but you can see it's been as high as $11 in the last year, been as low as three. We're currently sitting at five. I think the upside is tremendous. I know in the second quarter, they're going to start doing their aviation, flight aviation again. They're going to start going to space again. I think that's going to be very bullish for this. This is going to be one that I'm going to be watching very closely. I'll probably trade it again. I'm not in it right now, but if, it's if it does dip back under $5, I will look to go in for another trade. So Virgin Galactic Holdings, SPCE, my number five pick for February 2023. And in number four, Amazon. I also sold Amazon a little bit too soon. You can see it's starting to go up because I do not know what it's going to report. So I wanted to play it safe. It, I did get an 85, sold at 98. We're now at 102. I think this goes much higher. I'm a huge fan of Amazon. I'd like to get back into this trade. I probably will. You can see it's been as high as $170, hit a low of 81 when everything was dropping, and it's already back to 102. I think we go back to 170 at some point. I think this is going to be a great trade. That's why I think everybody needs to be really looking at Amazon right now in February 2023. That's why they're my number four pick for February, 2023. In number three, we're now down to our top three, UPS. All right, UPS, obviously everyone knows who UPS is. They've been as high as 200 bucks, been as low as 153. And you can see here, been as high as 226 in the last year, been as low as 153, kind of currently going up through the Fibonacci. So starting to really gain some steam and they just reported strong earnings today. That's why they are up 3%. Put them on your radar, put them on your watch list. They also have a nice dividend yield of 3.3%. So UPS, my number three pick for February, 2023. Now we're back to the final two. I also wanna let you know that you can go to richtv.io, join absolutely free. You can also learn how to trade and go to trading school become a VIP member if you want to get access to all of my trades, all our trade ideas, and everything that's happening 24 hours a day, seven days a week. And every week we do a weekly training on all the top stocks that we're watching every single week. Now, my number two pick for February 2023 is General Motors. They just reported very strong. I think that this is extremely undervalued, underappreciated, and underexposed. I think the upside is tremendous. You can see it's been as high as $57 in the last year, as low as 30. And it just ripped up through the Fibonacci's today on a big earning report. And they are up almost 8% right now, General Motors. I think this trend could continue. I also think they're a great play if you like electric vehicles. So a big fan of General Motors. I wish I could have got in before the earnings report, but I wanted to see the report. I wanted to see what it looked like first before I bought it. And it looks as though they are absolutely on fire today after reporting strong earnings. And you can see the volume is huge volume as well. So General Motors, my number two pick for February, 2023. And in number one, I think that the hottest sector this year is going to be artificial intelligence and chat GTP. And you can see here, AI, it's an artificial intelligence stock. I think it's got huge upside. Huge potential. You can see it's up 27% today. It's absolutely on fire. In the last year, been as high as $27. We're right now at 20. We just ripped through the Fibonacci's and we were just at 10 bucks. So it's already doubled since it hit $10 in like about a month ago. 
December 30th. We're at 10 bucks, now already at 20. It's already doubled. And with artificial intelligence really heating up for 2023, I think this is one of the stocks to watch. Uh, I'm not saying buy it today when it's up 27%, but if you can get it on a dip, I think it's one to watch. And I think it's one that we can make a lot of money with in 2023 and beyond. What we're going to do is any picks that we've done today in our top 10 that are not on richtv.io, create a chat room where you'll be able to go in there, chat with other members, and be able to get information at your fingertips 24 hours a day, seven days a week. What do you think about my top 10 stocks for February 2023? If you like the video, smash the like button, comment down below, share the video everywhere, and subscribe. If you're live, this is your host with the most, your boy Rich from Rich TV and our world famous top 10 stocks for February 2023. And I'm out.